this is a quick overview of the bighorn or the Zermatt Orms origin action. All right, let's take a closer look at it. This is the Bighorn Arms or the Zermatt Arms Origin Action. Uh, so I had a couple people ask a few questions about it. So decided to do a full tear down and uh, we'll go through kind of the, the cool things about this action. So let me get this out of the way and then we'll get started. All right, so this is the Origin Action from Zermatt Arms. Uh, we'll take, take a look at it, start at the front and work our way back. So. Uh, these guys hold a very tight tolerance, and so you can get pre-fit barrels from your favorite barrel manufacturer and all that. So uh, you will notice here on the front, the recoil lug actually has a little pin that aligns with it right there. So you don't have to have a wrench that is going to hold that in place because it's not going to spin due to that pin, which is very nice. As we come across the top, you can see these threaded holes here, two there, two there. These are a little beefier than most, uh, but let's go ahead and look at the rail, see if it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. So uh, you got the, the name there, of course, and then these uh, torques are a little bit beefier than the standard stuff, but you notice that there are actually locator pins in the rail itself, and which makes it really, really nice in order to, when it attaches onto the action, it actually, let me see if I can demonstrate this at all for you, um, but it actually sticks on and it's actually really tight fit without even attaching or screwing in any of the the bolts here. So it's not, so it's a, another another way it's gonna deal with that recoil a lot better than, than your typical action that's just relying on the screws to hold that down. So uh, just another point to, of durability as it were. So got that, uh, your overpressure hole looks nice. It took a little bit more time to, you know, put, do a little scallop in there. Um, as we work back, so they do have different size of actions, um, but I've never had any problems with uh, trying to get in to pull any rounds out if I had a misfeed or I was doing something stupid. Um, but you can, let's go work our way back. So you can see right here uh, is the ejector. So it is a fixed mechanical ejector and as you push that bolt forward it's gonna tuck in there so it's a little bit spring loaded let me see if i can demonstrate that so it moves and then as you pull the bolt back it's gonna kick out and then smack that around and kick it out as you're pulling the bolt back um, and then also there's a nice bolt stop bolt catch whatever you want to however you want to refer to it right there so you're going to be able to release that bolt out. It's just on the side, pretty unobtrusive. And then these aren't pins, they are little torques. So that's pretty nice. All right, uh, so your tang profile on the Origin, you can't decide what you want on there, but it is marked safe and fire for that standard trigger, that 700 trigger that's gonna work with. Uh, if we flip it over, these pins are actually directional. And so they only go in one way and they come out the other way, uh, but they are also opposite. So this pin comes out this way, this pin comes out this way. So you're not gonna, it's not gonna work its way open on accident there. So again, super, super nice, good tolerances. And uh, yeah, just a really nice action for um, right around $900, I think. They did up their price a little bit, but uh, right around $900 for, for basically a custom action. Uh, so the firing pin here, um, it does have the uh, bayonet style, so you're not messing with threads. Basically just goes in and turns, you're not having that issue. Uh, we'll look at, next we'll look at the bolt body here. 
So uh, as you can see, I have some wear on it because I have been shooting this gun quite a bit. Uh, so the looks like a one piece bolt body and the handle is uh, all one piece. So it's not, it's not soldered or brazed on there. And then with the bolt handle here, it is swappable. So whatever style you want, you can swap out to that. You need to put a little bit of Loctite on them because this does tend to come a quarter, quarter loose, about like that. Every once in a while, I gotta crank it down. So that's my own thing, but that's the bolt body. Put that over here. We'll go with bolt face next. These are swappable. So you'll notice the, uh, the hole there. Um, these are swappable so you can go in between different cartridges and bolt faces. So if you want to do a 6.5 PRC, you can swap over to there. Um, you can swap this to a 223 or a PPC type bolt, you know, six, six Grendel or a <laughs> six arc, six five Grendel, that set type size of bolt face. So you can custom order these for, I believe 125 bucks. Um, and then you can see the extractor here. Um, it's spring loaded, so there's a little spring and detent in there and then you'll notice on the bottom here let's see if i can get that looking better um it is a control round feed so as you come up over the magazine it's gonna pop that round let me see if i can grab a piece of brass actually all right so there we go so this controlled round feed so as that bolt comes forward it's gonna strip that round off of the magazine and then grip it all right like that so as you push it forward into the chamber, um, you're not going to um, leave <laughs> leave that cartridge in there if you don't happen to cam it over. It's gonna grab onto it and you can just push the bolt forward and you'll grab onto it. All right. So behind that comes this little guy here. Um, and this uh, just aligns right there. And then we have a little wafer, not sure what kind or what, it's a kind of a spring washer here and that fits right there. So when you have your bolt, what you're gonna do, it's a little harder to do <laughs> when, uh, when you're, there we go. And you got the camera here. Um, and then the pin, of course, very nice, nice pin there. Let's go ahead and insert that. We need to make sure that we're focused the right way. So when the firing pin comes in, we can push. All right, we can take a look at this too. So as you push in here, we can turn and then there we go. And then my bolt's gonna sit like that. So make sure your extractor's on the right side and uh, when it goes into the action here. So we'll just show you how that action sits in there. So you press the button and let it in. All right, so now when that bolt comes in, comes down, pull up and back, and then you can see that ejector is sitting right there. So as you pull the bolt back, it's gonna kick that round out however hard you hit it. So the harder you pull, the further that that casing is gonna go. But nice and smooth on the action there. All right. Uh, so we'll flip this back over. Put that down there. Uh, so I did go with the Trigger Tech primary. I got this guy on sale. So I uh, decided not to go with the diamond. But I have this pulled. Um, we're at about a pound and a half, a little bit more, um, but uh, I'm pretty typical. I'm pretty used to that pound and a half and it's a really nice trigger. So um, I don't, I haven't gone much lighter. Um, I don't have any triggers that are really capable of that, but with their technology, super nice trigger on there. So um, yeah, so this is the origin action there. All of it's parts and pieces and uh, 
Yeah, it's a great little action for less than $1,000. Basically, they cut price by offering fewer options. So you can only choose bolt handle, bolt face, and then if you want left or right. So they simplify their manufacturing. So um, holding the same tolerances, same design basically as the TL3, but you don't have those, you can't decide on you know, what color or what coatings you want or anything like that. So um, kind of comes how it comes. So I'm gonna put this action back to together, maybe take some pictures, throw them up here. Um, but if you got any questions, be sure to reach out, put them down in the comments, check out my Instagram as well with any anything you wanna do there. So thanks for watching.